what's going on guys today i'm going to be doing some stuff with the playstation classic as we all know the playstation classic was absolutely disastrous it was not a good or thought out mini console but the mod scene for it is pretty awesome and there's a lot of cool stuff that you can actually do with it so what i did right here was i made an auto bleam build where i have n64 emulation and dreamcast emulation so what i'm going to be doing right now is testing it all out and if it all works good then the next video that i do will be a tutorial on how you two can make a similar build so jumping right in guys this is how the retro arc interface looks for the playstation classic looks pretty standard what you would expect from a retro arc build pretty neat clean and organized so i'm going to go ahead and launch some of my dreamcast roms from here and let's see how they run so here i am playing power stone one of my all-time favorite sega dreamcast games and man, it runs beautifully on the PlayStation Classic. It's almost mind blowing. As I understand, Power Stone isn't really a resource heavy game, but it's still impressive nonetheless. And I am actually getting my ass kicked. I'm pretty rusty in this game. But now I have a reason to pick it back up. Here I am playing Ikuraga, an awesome, awesome shoot 'em up that came out for the Sega Dreamcast. I remember playing this game for hours on end. And as you can see, it has a bit of slowdown moments, but it's still very playable. The Dreamcast was well known for its arcade perfect ports of various 2D fighting games, Third Strike being one of my favorite of the bunch. And it runs really good being emulated on the PlayStation Classic. Staying on the 2D fighter motif, I just had to try Marvel vs. Capcom 2, one of the most well-known 2D fighters from that era, and once again, runs really good on the PlayStation Classic. I'm actually very impressed. So I'm pretty satisfied with how Dreamcast ran. Now let's head over to some N64 titles and see how they play. Because it was able to handle Dreamcast so well, I'm not surprised that it runs Mario 64 damn near flawlessly. However, I'm not using the PlayStation Classic controller, the controller that came bundled with the PlayStation Classic, because it doesn't have a joystick. So what I actually did was plugged in an Xbox 360 controller. This build of RetroArch will actually recognize a variety of different controllers, and you can use a ton of different controller options while booting RetroArch. Anytime I try to emulate Killer Instinct Gold, on a variety of different devices it's a tough game to emulate it runs better on the playstation classic than it does on some of my other devices but it's still far from perfect and i wouldn't exactly want to play it this way but still impressive nonetheless mario kart 64 ran flawlessly and beautifully this game is a ton of fun and i actually think i'm going to sit here and play this for a while Well guys, as I said at the start of the video, this is basically just me testing out a couple of emulators and a couple of games I put on my PlayStation Classic. The next video I upload will definitely be a tutorial on how you yourself can create an auto bleam build similar to the one I have here. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, this is Ness, signing out.